Hi, I'm Sally from Photocentric and today I'm going to show you how to make a stamp with the Teresa Collins Stamp Maker. Now, the first step in making a stamp is making a negative and you do get some beautiful designs in the kit but of course the reason uh, you bought the kit is to make your own designs. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, we're going to make uh, a negative and then a stamp using Word and we're going to use the template that's on the CD in your kit. So on the CD you have um, a document that already has a template for the two sizes of image pack stamp packs that you get in the kit and they so they match the the gel packs okay today I'm going to use the small one what we call the A8 and I'm just going to create a simple text stamp um, what we call we call a hand spell that wrong hand made by Sally okay and I can make that um, the uh, font and size that I want it to be and because I have all this space I'm going to make one for my friend as well so I'm going to put handmade by Gail um, I actually still have some space so let's put that closer together and I'm going to just put another one saying um, with love from the Smith family, which is something that can be used, for example, uh, if you're sending gifts. And let's just put that in a different font. Um, I don't know this. What shall we choose? Um, let's have. There we go. So I've got uh, three different stamps on there. Now I don't want to print the whole page, so I'm going to uh, copy this and I'm going to open a new page and paste my picture. And now I'm ready to print it using the inkjet film that you get in the kit. Now, before I print, I, I'm just going to set my printer up. I'm going to use the HP 2050 and I know on that printer I need to change my printer properties to specialty paper to get the best result and by the best result I mean to make the black as black as it can be to stop the light. If you're not sure which printer setting to use we recommend that you print a small black box using each of these uh, shortcut options and then just hold them to the light and see which is darkest and then use the darkest one to make your negative. If you don't have a shortcut menu, they're normally uh, matte, uh, a photo paper matte option will give you the darkest result and increase the ink density or ink volume if you can. So on this printer it's specialty paper, so I'll print OK and we can print. Now the printer has, sorry not the printer, the film has two sides to it and we're printing on the side that a damp finger will stick to. So if you just wet your finger and touch the corner it will stick. You can see I've left a little mark there. Um, and there's my 
my negative, which we can now use to make a stamp.